Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working. The next step is to rename the config file. When you rename the config file all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this you can go to file explorer. Go to documents folder. Uh, let me close the game for now. Now go to documents folder over here. You can see my uh, you can see the game folder over here. Open the game folder and over here you can see the config folder. You can make a right click and then you can rename this config folder. And then relaunch the game and then check still not working. You can rename the save game files. Uh, the complete game folder in documents create a backup first because you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so you can go to documents folder you can create a backup of this folder copy this folder and maybe paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created over here now you can make a right click and then rename this folder and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to turn off or turn on fast startup restart your computer now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to hardware and sound go go to power options and then click on choose what power button does and over here you can click on change settings that are currently un, unavailable and here you can see turn on fast startup you can uncheck this save changes and then restart your computer restart is a must and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now once you're done playing the game or if you uh, if that does not work you can go back and then click on change settings that are un currently un unavailable you can turn it on again save changes and then you can restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to if you're using mods disable it or remove mods and then check next step is to update the bios this is important this has worked for many players so Go to your system manufacturer website. Like if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. Whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then make sure that you select your computer on the website and then update the BIOS. Go to driver's page, find the BIOS and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder you can skip the launcher now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files open bin folder open this win64 folder and over here you can see exe file uh, you can just make a right click uh, make a double click launch the game from here and then check you can even try this um, exe file to launch the game and the rest is launcher and here you can see this is the also the exe file make a right click and then launch the game using this so if that does not work make a right click on the game exe file go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again this time you can put a check over here disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and do the same thing with this exe file make a right click you can run as administrator and then check still not working uh, the next step is to Verify the game files. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off and then relaunch the game. If it, it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, uh, you can NVIDIA users can launch NVIDIA app and then you can go to settings over here. And over here you will see NVIDIA overlay. Uh, you can turn off this NVIDIA overlay if this is on and then you have to close NVIDIA app and then check. Close all other overlay application and then check. Next step is to clear Steam download cache. Now for this you can go to Steam 
go to settings go to downloads here you can see clears cache click on it click on confirm this will restart steam and then you can check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 you can now you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click once again go to properties this time you can type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see x64 and x86 you have to install these two x86 and x64 so click on it and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once both are installed you have to restart your computer and then launch the game still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed and select all the exe file you have to add all the exe file from here in my case i have already added so select everything over here even the launcher once you add all the exe file now you can type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings over here and then allow another app click on browse go to the game installation folder once again wherever the game is installed program files x86 steam steam apps common open the game folder bin folder win64 and then select all the exe file one by one In my case, this is already added. I'll allow another app once again, browse, and then select this exe file. You have to add all the exe file. Once added, now you can launch the game. Similarly, if you have any third-party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow all the game exe file or the complete game folder to the exclusion list. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website, select your uh, graphic card over here. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. Now on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver, whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, click on view and then click on download. And then once the download is complete, you can run this exe file, click on yes to allow, click on OK, and then click on agree and continue. And then select custom option then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation is done restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to now amd card users do the same thing go to amd website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here this is just an example i don't have amd graphics select your graphic card your operating system and then whichever is the latest uh, you can download it install it restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings 
click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder once again wherever the game is installed open the game folder and then bin folder wins win64 select the exe file and then click on add once the game is added click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card over here again add desktop app you can try all the exe file over here this is important add all the exe file and then you can launch the game you select your graphic card and then launch the game desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi or display cable to the de dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to Try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in window search box on control panel hardware and sound power options and over here I have only balanced but if you see a power saver option like this you can select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even try balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check now type in graphic settings in window search box click on graphic settings and then go to advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling if this is off turn it on and then launch the game and then check if it is already on then you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to disable integrated graphic card make a right click the start menu go to device manager now expand display adapter so if your computer has a dual graphic card like for me it's intel and nvidia so my computer so you have to disable your integrated graphic card the intel one in my case make a right click and then disable device and then relaunch the game and then check if um, if, you, if you face any problem or once you're done playing the game you can come back and then enable the device once again still not working roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working uh, you can uh, select your graphic card your operating system on a nvidia website and then here click on view more versions maybe you can try to install the older graphic card driver uh, you can click on view download but when you go for installation put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then check amd card users uh, do the same thing once you select your graphic card driver click on previous version over here then select your operating system and maybe you can try to install the older graphic card driver download it install it restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to try launching the game from nvidia app nvidia app users you can launch nvidia app and then go to home and you will see the game over here click on play over here try to launch the game from here and then check if that does not work you can click on settings over here or you can go to graphics and then you can select the game now over here if you see optimize option uh, for example uh, when you select the game if you see optimize you can click on optimize over here and then you can relaunch the game and then check now if it is already optimized then you can revert the optimization and then you can relaunch the game and then check and then if that does not work try debug mode and debug to try debug mode go to desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option click on nvidia control panel over here so launch nvidia control panel so make a right click show more option and then click on nvidia control panel over here and once it is open now go to help and then click select debug mode so put a check on debug mode and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, restore nvidia control panel settings now for this go to nvidia control panel go to manage 3d settings global settings click on restore click on yes and at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then you can relaunch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate suppose your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz this is just an example then you can lower it down to 120 or maybe 60 hertz and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM so you can check total RAM in Windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your RAM and if you face any problem we can always revert back the settings so do not worry about it so for 
in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hit set and then click on okay and then okay okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on okay click on okay over here hit apply click on okay okay you will see restart option restart you can be and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on okay follow the next step still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected if you have external keyboard and mouse like uh, key crown keyboard or razer handspan keyboard if you are not using disconnect it disconnect razer tartarus disconnect any kind of usb adapter connected dongle connected disconnected disconnect extra sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect extra controller if you have any third party application or services running close it do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner running close it if you have undervolted you can be remove the undervolt and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game after you uninstall install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel